Have you ever wondered why in scripture it says to the Jew first? Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. But why to the Jew first? To the Jew first has nothing to do with ethnic superiority, but it has everything to do with kingdom priority. In Greek, the word first is proton. It doesn't necessarily imply only first in sequence, but also it implies first in priority. The Greek implies prominence or most importance when it says first. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Not just the first thing, but the most important thing is to seek his kingdom first. So let me say it again. To the Jew first has nothing to do with ethnic superiority, but everything to do with kingdom priority. To the Jew first is the pattern that the Father used to bring salvation. It's the pattern that the Messiah used to bring salvation. And it's the pattern that the Apostle Paul used in sharing the message of salvation. And I contend this, when we get the pattern right, everything else falls into place. But why the Jew first? Let's start at the beginning and look at how the Lord chose Israel and the Jewish people. The Lord chose Abraham and the Jewish people as the ones to whom blessing would come to all the nations of the earth. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 through 3, God chose Abraham and God prioritized Israel, not because they were ethnically superior, but because through them salvation comes to the entire earth. Yeshua, Jesus prioritized Israel also. John 4, 22 you worship what you do not know, Jesus says, but we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Matthew 15, 24, Jesus says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Paul, who calls himself the apostle to the Gentiles, prioritized Israel and the Jewish people too. Throughout the book of Acts, when he enters a new city, he always preaches to the Jew first. Check this out. Acts chapter 13, he arrived in Pisidian Antioch. And where did he go first? into the synagogue. Acts 14, he did the same thing in Iconium. Acts chapter 17, it says, when they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue, he went and according to his custom, he went to them and for three Sabbaths reasoned with them from the scriptures. Acts 17, the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea and when they arrived, they went to the synagogue of the Jews. Here's the bottom line. When Jesus wept over Jerusalem, he wept because he longed to gather them together, but they refused and they rejected Jesus. So he told them this. He said, you will not see me again until you welcome me back by saying, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. If we're longing for Yeshua's return, then we must be longing for Israel to welcome their Messiah back too. Yes, we must proclaim the good news to all the nations of the earth, but let's not forget Israel, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the nations.